Cardell with CJW Global Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about the EIDL grant. And if you don't know what the what the EIDL grant is or the EIDL grant, it's free money that you get if you're self-employed. Self-employed, this person that has a side hustle that, you know, they make money without working for a boss, right? They, they are moving on their own. So if they're a gig worker, uh, eBay seller, Lyft driver, whatever it is, any Schedule C, anything like that. Something you don't, you don't need to have a business license or an LLC. You don't need to be registered with a city. You don't need a fictitious business name. None of that. So it's literally if you have side hustle income, you are technically a small business, according to this, um, you know, new bill that just came out. So. If you intend to make money with your efforts, you have a small business. So you can look at the information. I know they had a huge um, 500 page, you know, um, thing that they had printed out. Or you can go to your boss. If you have a hair salon or you're a realtor, you can go to your boss and you can ask them, hey, am I independent contractor? Because it's all about independent contractors or are you a W-2 employee? It's not for W-2 employees. It's for the side workers, the get workers, the um, uh, you know self-employed individuals that's doing contracting work. And trust me, they have a vested interest in letting you know because there's a lot of legal implications with that as well. So it's, it's taxes, right? It's tax implications. So that's very important. That just came out, and that that's breathing a lot of life into people who just didn't know. Especially I know a lot of drivers who aren't, are, you know. Uh, earning side money, driving your own car, helping people, you know, delivering whether it's Instacart or Uber Eats or what have you. So the gist of the EIDL grant, they're supposed to be a, a bridge to get you to the PPP loan. So if you're a business and you're a side business, so Congress says, Congress says let's give small businesses a grant of $10,000 to give them a boost, which is going to boost the economy. So I know a lot of y'all have seen videos about it. You've been scrolling, trying to find out about it. But yes, the, the round two is back um, and they give you instructions. A lot of people last time got the thousand dollar right for free. But a lot of people are saying, hold up, it's supposed to be ten thousand. All right. And if you look at the, the fine print, that's what it says. So now they are pretty much making it right. So that's what all the disaster. It was pretty much a disaster um, the last time. If you think about it, if you look, pull up the actual law, uh, if you look at the actual specific details, you go through a line by line. It says the amount. You remember this? It says the amount of the advance. It's free money. It's a grant, aka the grant. It says the subsection should not be more than ten thousand dollars. Okay. It says no more than $10,000. You might read that. Okay, I'm going to ask for this 10000 But what happened is everybody got 1000 So now they're circling back to make it right. All right? So Congress, Senate, literally, they took the SBA administrator to Congress and made her testify in front of Congress and said, hey, we told you to get small businesses $10,000 grants. Why didn't you do it? Why did you give the people only a thousand dollars? You can pull up right now on YouTube. So in case you're new to this, when this portal opens up again, be ready. All right. So if you got only a thousand dollars the last time, they're going to make it right now. But you have to be aware. You have to be tuned in. But the point of this whole thing is Congress was not happy. They said, hey, you're supposed to give ten thousand dollar grants to people so they can keep their businesses afloat. Who knows when this whole you know, coronavirus is going to yeah, pass over if it is at all. And I'm all, by the way, this loan is forgivable. All right. So this loan is forgivable. So hopefully after eight weeks, everything is blow over. Well, obviously, they didn't they didn't know that it was going to be this long. However, they have a chance to make it right. So Congress was not ups, was not happy. So the SBA did not do what they supposed to do before. So they said, hey, we're only going to give $1,000 per employee. It's like going back and rewriting something. 
So if you're a small business owner, if you didn't have employees, you say, hey, I still have expenses. I still have things I need uh, you know, I need to do. But if you are the only person that's working, that's that's one employee. Your, your wife, your, your, your husband is working. That's another another employee. You know, if you hire somebody that might work for you part time every once in a while, that's employee. So it's a lot of, you know, um, verbiage inside there. But anyway, everybody's supposed to get to ten thousand dollars. SBA came back and said, hey, we didn't have enough money to give. So we just made up a rule. That's why they're correcting it now. So if you're listening to it now, it is circling back right now. So if you are a small business owner, if you have a side gig, if you need some assistance, now is the time. So they you know, do it early. I know all the portals are closed right now, but um, get your paperwork and your money, so your, your affairs in order, get everything lined up so you can apply as soon as it opens up now it's the beginning of the year the first monday of the year 2021 and um hopefully this is going to bring some joy and some and some uh, some light bring some life back into small businesses who feel like they can't breathe because of all these bills that's coming in so i hope that's you if you have any questions put it in the comments below uh this is definitely definitely good news and they'll keep uh, you know uh, giving us updates on everything that, that, that that's going on i know a lot of y'all got the um, you know, the the stimulus checks and things like that. And hopefully those will, you know, get you to your your next, um, whether it's going to be putting food on the table or putting gas or in the car or whatever, you, you know, you need to do to keep afloat. So blessings to everybody. Have a have a happy, happy new year. And this is good news for y'all. So I'll talk to you all soon. This is Cardell Williams, CJW Global Solutions. Have a good day.